Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to make a video today talking about some trading methods that you guys can do if you're in the 100k to 1 million coin budget in order for you to make some coins and increase that coin amount in your FIFA Ultimate team um, to improve your squad, to do, up, to do SBCs, or whatever you're looking to do. You need coins to do it in this game, right? So I'm going to take you through some trading methods today to helpfully grow that coin amount and to help you guys out with some trades that you can make, some methods that you can do to make some coins in this game um, to go from either 100K to a million coins or if you're anywhere in between that range, these are methods that you can do. I'm gonna talk about one specific method that applies to a lot of cards and then look at a couple um, other methods at the end. But um, the main thing we're gonna be doing today is gonna revolve around chemistry styles. And this type of trading is not new. Uh, this is something that has been going on for a long time in FIFA this year, especially um, because of the chemistry, the, the prices of the Shadow and of the Hunter chemistry styles on FIFA. That's the basis for this trading. Since Shadows and Hunters are so expensive on cards, uh, people will pay more for a card that already has that chemistry style equipped on it. So first example here, and we're going to look at a lot of examples and kind of talk this through, but Ferlan Mendy, left back, French, Real Madrid, don't know how, he's still 10,000 coins at this age of FIFA, right? You can see he's 10,000 coins for an 80 rated left back, one of the best left backs in FIFA for the price. 10,000 coins for this card without the shadow chemistry style, 15,000 coins with the chemistry style of a shadow. So how can you get this card at a, at a good price? A lot of people, when they're done using a card, they need to get some coins, they're selling their team for whatever reason. Um, they will list up their Furlan Mendy. They'll see that he's going for around 10,000 coins on the market. And maybe they'll forget that he already has a shadow attached to him, right? So they'll list him up on the market for 10,000 coins um, with that shadow chemistry style. And you can know, you can say, hey, this is a card. I know that he sells for more than his cheapest buy it now price because uh, he has that chemistry style attached. So that's something that you can learn. You can look at a lot of cards and kind of find these variances. And that's what I'm going to talk you through today, this type of trading um, on these types of cards. So here's example number one, Freeland Mendy. Again, sells for 15K with the Shadow Chem style attached, sells for 10K with it not attached. So basically, you can find this by sniping this card or looking at open bids um, with, the, with, the, with cards that have the Shadow Chemistry style attached. And again, you have to make sure that you can um, get a deal that is good enough to cover tax. So right now, if this Furlan Mendy sells at 15,000 coins, there aren't any good deals on open bid. Um, as you can see, there's no open bids for Furlan Mendy's with a shadow. But that's the basis of what we're going to be trading with today. You can do that at all types of different budgets and with all types of different cards. Here's a good, another great example. Kula Bali. Kula Bali's team of the group stage card with a shadow, I think sells for 70, just under 80,000 coins. I think it's like 70, 77 or 78K. This is a card that I have done extensive chemistry style trading with this year, and it has made me bank. I don't know if you guys remember, but during Footmas, when the Malqui SBC came out, this card was around this price, 70 to 80, it was about 70 to 80K. But with the uh, shadow chemistry style, this card was selling at like 90,000 coins, but people were consistently listing him at like 70K. I was buying them for 70, selling it for 90. It was like eight, 17, I don't know what the math is there, 16,000 coins a card-ish, uh, 15,000 coins a card profit um, every single time I was doing that. So basically when you're looking for cards to try to do the chemistry style flipping with, you want to look at cards that really need the boost that the chem style is providing. Koulibaly has 72 pace. He's one of the premier center backs in the Serie A, uh, but he needs that paste boost and he needs it pretty, pretty bad. So this is a great card you could chemistry style trade with the team of the year nominee or this version right here uh, with the, which is the team of the group stage. So this is another one you can do the exact same method with, with the shadows. So you can see he sells at 78,000 coins without the shadow chemistry style. I think he sells for maybe like closer to 70,000 coins. Let me check really quick. Let me check and see what this is without the uh, shadow chemistry style. And if I could get the special filter, that'd be great as well. Thank you, EA Sports. So without the shadow, okay, there's one right there, 70K. Ooh, that one actually has the shadow on it. So Cool Bali might not be the best right now, but you get the idea, right? You can go on to Footbin. I'll show you one more example for, before we go over to Footbin, and I can show you how to find some of these cards to, to trade the, 
with this method. Lucas Mora. I actually just bought a Lucas Mora when I was getting ready to record this video with a Hunter Chem style um, for 122,000 coins. So I bought that card for 122k. What does he sell with with the Hunter? He sells for 132, 133k maybe with that Hunter. So I'm gonna go find that card on my transfer list and list him up because I bought this for. 122k and i know that it sells at where is it at it is right here boom 122,000 coins i can sell this for 132k and uh i'm making a little bit of profit on that card not a lot but just you know maybe a couple thousand coins right and that's what you're going to make sure that you calculate in tax when you're flipping these cards as well but boom there's a little bit of a small profit and that's kind of the repetition with this method as well you're getting small profits um but you can you can flip multiple multiple cards at a time so headed back over to flipping how do you know what cards to do this method with you can go on flipping and this is on the team of the weeks page so if you go to flipping.com click on the players tab go down to team of the weeks it'll show you all of the team of the weeks and special teams inside of foot how do you know which cards to trade with using hunters and with shadows obviously defenders are the ones that need the shadows the most and attackers are the ones that need the hunter so you can look through these team of the weeks right i um this team of the week right here nine golan he usually needs a shadow a lot of people run a shadow on nine golan um a lot of people run a hunter on this lucas card to boost his shooting um you wouldn't believe it some of these cards you just kind of have to go and look at yourself and say okay is there a difference between how much they sell for with the shadow and with without the chem style um you'd be surprised some cards have pretty good differences pretty big differences in price some of them don't have much at all but the number one thing you want to remember when you're trying to trade with this method as well is focus on trading with cards that are popular, that are from good nations and good leagues, and that uh, people are going to be using in this game, right? So Renato Sanchez, this is a card a lot of people use. Let me go look him up. Renato Sanchez is a card that I have used multiple times uh, this year. Let's go to Fender. I've used this card to use uh, this exact same trading method. The Renato, did I spell that correctly? Renato Sanchez. Yes, there he is. Renato Sanchez left back card is 70,000 coins without the chem style, I'm assuming. 60, 66,000 coins for shapeshifter Renato without a shadow. What is he uh, with a shadow? Oh, this is money. This is a money one. 73, 74,000 coins. So maybe like 75K you can get a sale at uh, on the hour. For this Renato Sanchez. So, with, again, when you take the chemistry style off, you know he's like 67, 68K. Sells for 60, your sells for 75K with the shadow. And again, this is just, this is a money method, boys. You can find a few cards. The, the best way to do this is find a couple cards and um, find the ones that work for you. Find a couple cards that you can learn the prices of, learn their fluctuations, and then try to get them on open bid. Boom, this one at 62 I'm a fan of that. I'm going to add that to my transfer targets. See if I can get a sale. Oh, we just got a sale. Something just sold. Was it our Lucas? Did our Lucas sell already? Boom. Lucas at 132,000 coins with the Hunter chemistry style already sold. And that's how fast some of this flipping can be in the current state of the market where there's a lot of people on this game. Uh, Lucas Mora, once again, we'll go with the Hunter chem style. Um, and then we're going to find him for 130-ish K, right? 130 K. Just to show you guys again, he's 133,000 coins with the chemistry style. Without the chemistry style, I think he's like, wow, I got a nice snipe there. Dang. I got a nice snipe at 122 then a, a little bit ago. But maybe there's some open bids that could be better there as well. So again, ooh, 123 doesn't have the hunter. But again, that's kind of the method that you can be doing with some of these out-of-packs informs. Again, the more rare the card is and the more meta the card is, that's why that Lucas sold so quickly is because that's a card that a lot of people want to use in foot. A lot of people are interested in and a lot of people want to use the chemistry style with that card as well. So that is kind of like the trading method number one that you guys can do. Um, and again, you just kind of have to see what cards it works for and, and what cards it doesn't, right? It, it doesn't really work that well on some of the really high tier cards, right? So let's say... Let's say you want to run uh, Striker. Um, since I'm looking at the Shapeshifter team, let's look at um, Atal, right? Let's look at Atal. Flippin says he has 640,000 coins right now. 
Um, I think I need to put a minimum on this because he's got a left wing in for him from earlier on in the game. What does he go for with a hunter? What does he go for with a hunter? Sh uh, Shapeshifter Atal goes for... Are there any Atals? Uh, 699,000 coins with the hunter, but without the hunter, he probably goes for what? 640? Is that what I'm seeing? So, this is the other side of the coin, right? Is Yusuf Atal really... Okay, right now he's 634k. If somebody would list up their Atal card for 630k, do you really think you'd be able to sell that at 699? That's a bit... That's almost too big of a price gap. Um, because somebody could go out and just buy a Hunter Chemistry style for like 10k or whatever it costs. So if the gap is too big, um, what I would recommend doing is... Again, with this Hunter Chem style, the one that I, that I showed here before at 699... Add this to your transfer targets, right? Which I did. Add this to your transfer targets and see if it sells. And that way you'll know, hey, okay, this card sells at this price. Even though the gap is big, I can actually get a sale there. Uh, and then you can use that for your knowledge when you're trading with this card. Now, do I think this at all could sell at like 670 with the chemistry style? Yes, but that's not even profit because, you, you know, you have like almost 35,000 coins of tax, 34,000 coins of tax if you sold at like 670k because you're already this far up here so the chemistry style flipping method works for cards like that lucas mora it works for cards in the lower um around the 100 to 200 000 coin range it works better with those like kula bali with the shadow uh lazano with the hunters probably be pretty good right a, a very popular card even though he doesn't really need the, the pace boost people will still throw a hunter ke chemistry style on lazano because he gets the shooting boost from that as well. So that's the main thing I wanted to talk about today. Again, you can use Footbin, look through the special teams, um, and and honestly, pick a few cards, look through some cards that are popular from a top five league, from a popular nation. Um, like this Digne card is a good one to chemistry style flip. That's another one that I flipped. Um, probably some of these strikers like Danielle Mollins, probably even a, a good one to flip. Again, you can, there's tons of cards out there, and that's why I'm telling you guys this method because I'm telling you a few cards, but if you go to Footbin, pick your own set of cards that you want to start doing this with. If you find that they sell and you find that it works for you, you can multiply your coin amounts very, very quickly. Now, as we get a little bit higher end, I got a couple other methods that we can talk about as well. A couple of these methods include icons. Yes, icons. Baby and middle icons especially. First example is 85 Makalele. That was a very, very good price. I'm going to take you guys over to Footbin so I can show you what I'm talking about in terms of these icons, right? Makalele, 85 rated. A baby icon that you might think nobody wants to buy. False. He is French. A lot of people put him at right mid to start the game and then maybe move him into the middle. Um, in, in game, like a change of formation or whatever. But if you take a look at this guy's graph... He was 128,000 coins last night, and he reached a high point of 145 today, 139. So he basically hits about 140,000 coins at the peak during the day, and it looks like he reached 130k um, at least once today. And right now he's 130k as well. So this is like you know trend, right? We're watching trends on the market. I also had a middle Crespo that was on my transfer uh, targets. I was watching as well. 287 for this card and if you look at his trend we look at the hourly graphs look at his graph he was 290,000 coins 287 he had a high point of 309 looks like he hits high points around 300,000 coins during the day sunday is not the best representation because of a weekend league um he was dropping all day but he did hit a low of 282 uh and it looks like for his daily graph he's usually at least the past week or so he's been just under 300k so we're looking for the fluctuations on these cards, right? And this is something where you just kind of have to learn the price of a card. Pick five, six, seven baby icons or middle icons. And we pick those because they're out of packs and they're more rare on the market, but still desirable. Um, and we learn their prices, right? We know via Footbin and watching cards on the market that this Makalele will probably sell at 140K at some point during the day. So this guy just got him on bid at 124,000. That's a pretty good deal. I can probably sell this card at some point during the day just under 300. So I would really want to see under 280K for me to make profit on this card. If I was selling it at like 299, that's like 15,000 coins of tax. Um, then I would want to get this at like 275 for me to be able to make money 
um, after tax. But that's a very, very good way of trading as well. There's a lot of icons. Seriously, there's a ton of icons in this game that are that a lot of people want to use. Like Baby Owen. How much is this card, right? This not He's not too expensive. But this is a card that a lot of people want to use in foot. Uh, he's English. He's a striker. And uh, a lot of people just know this guy's name. Michael Owen, right? 131K. Let's take a look at his graph on Footbin. Baby Owen. We'll go take a look. Take guys with me over to the Footbin. Footbin.com, by the way. Great website. Uh, looks like he's been around 129, 130K. What, did he, what does he do on the daily? He goes from up to 134, 137, but also down to under 130. So looks like right now he's actually kind of in the middle, right? We saw that one at 134. 130. Okay, there's a 131 that was added up. So the 131K, uh, and, and bids work here as well. You don't have to get snipes. You can look at bids. If I could get this guy on bid for like 125K or below, then I can make a quick flip of this card somewhere around like the 135, 136,000 coin range. That would be a solid flip, right? So you can do this kind of fluctuation trading. And that's what this is. Looking at flipping graphs, knowing when a price just naturally fluctuates up and down on a daily trend in the market and being able to make coins off it. That's what we can do with some of these icons right here. Last method. And, and this one is a very popular method. This is not my own method. None of these methods are my own. These are all well-known, widely used methods on the foot market. Um, this is a method that uses the hunter and chemistry style trading again. Um, but it does it to kind of a different level, right? So this is how you do it right here. We're going to, this, this is like a sniping filter is what this is right here. So this is the filter that you set up. You're going to go 10,000 coins, minimum price, 11,250 max price, 12,500 minimum buy it now. And then your max buy it now is your refresh, right? So we're going to refresh this and it's got to be quality special. It's got to be quality special. So we're going to search this on the shadow and we're going to go back here see it, it pulls up all the cards basically that are listed at a minimum price or an open bid that have a shadow chemistry style on them and a lot of times what happens back here on this filter is you'll see cards pop up um, that people are trying to sell and they're trying to get rid of and you can possibly catch an undercut with that chemistry style on it um, a lot of the times now i'm not sure about prices right now i don't know a lot of these prices so this is probably not the best thing for me to be doing trading wise at the moment i'm pretty sure jared moreno is not 58,000 coins but this is what you can do you can kind of sit on this filter you can go onto footbin check some prices this jared moreno card is a 50,000 coin card 58k on the buy it now i'm not a fan not really worth it for me right so the best way you can do is you can go back out change this filter and then research Go back to the 59th minute and see if you find any deals. Now, this is a, this is a method that a lot of people do, uh, and it's a, a lot of times it's oversaturated. Saturated. Um, it's oversaturated. Yeah, that's oversaturated. That's what I'm trying to say. Oversaturated with people trying to do this method, but um, it is it can be very very profitable if you know the card's price. This Guerrero selling on the market right now for 35,000 coins. He's not a 40k card. What about Thorgan Hazard? I don't think Thorgan Hazard is is uh that price 35k for that card. He's 32k. So again, you just kind of have to know the card's price um in order to know if it's a deal or not that's being listed up. Kings of the Coman at 13k. Um so you just kind of have to know the prices. That's the biggest thing with this. But it is a sniping method. It is a way that you can find cards that get listed up with the shadow with the hunter chemistry style for too cheap but again you need to use the special filter here um, so that you're getting only some of those out of pack special cards in forms and those types of things on the market so that works with hunters and with shadows on this game but all of these methods should give you a very very good underlying um way and definitely some some different opportunities to and some knowledge and methodology to make some coins on this game because right now a lot of people are on the game a lot of people are buying teams they're trying cards out um so again stick to the top five leagues and then stick to the you know popular nations as well france brazil argentina um, portugal spain did i miss any i think i missed a few of them belgian guys belgian players you know stuff like that because those are the cards that sell the most and of course guys that are in the you know the big name teams as well, Bayern Munich, PSG, 
uh, Manchester United, Manchester City, Liverpool, stuff like that. Those cards sent, tend to sell more and sell quicker because there's more people on the game that want to buy those cards on this game. So hopefully that helps you out, right? Hopefully those types of methods help you out. Again, you can do like almost any card that you want. You can go into Footbin, look through some of these old team of the weeks or look through some of these old like man of the matches this works with. You can look through all these card types, team of the year nominees this works with, right? This Hyunmin Sun, this is a guy that I chemistry style trade with a lot. He was just, he's 300,000 coins. I know for a fact that you can get sales at 320,000 coins with the Hunter chemistry style. So if you see an undercut at like 280, which happens decently often with this card, I mean, this card fluctuates a decent amount. Yeah, 287 this morning, 285, back up to 300K, 309. With the chemistry style, he sells like 315 to 320. You find an undercut at like 280, and then boom, you sell it at 315. That's some pretty solid profit right there on a card like this. So you can do this with almost any card on the game, gold special icons even you can sell a little bit better with the chemistry styles but hopefully this guys helps you out if you're trying to grind the coins in fifa again these are not new methods i did not create these methods they're just well-known methods on the game um but i wanted to share that knowledge with you guys if you're trying to make some coins and if you're under 100,000 coins and you want to learn how to make some profits check out my other video it's trading to zero to 100k talking through some methods as well um, that are good for this game. So if you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.